Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jeff Rosell, the Chief Deputy District Attorney of Santa Cruz County. But more importantly, I was a friend and a colleague to Butch Baker for 20 years. I was honored when the Baker family asked me to share some memories and some experiences about Butch. And for those of you lucky enough to know Butch, you know that he was born to be a cop. You know that it was in his blood and it was in his soul. And the family shared a story with me that I wanted to tell you about. That when Butch Baker was a little boy, he, like many of us, played cops and robbers. But even as a little boy, Butch Baker's enthusiasm was more than others. As a little boy, Butch Baker would take his sister's stuffed animals and teddy bears and arrest them and cuff them up. And knowing Butch, he probably Mirandized them. And if the Miranda didn't go so well and I was there, I promise you, Butch would have explained to me that they weren't really in custody and that the statements that he got out of them would be no problem to get into evidence in court. Butch Baker not only had the desire to be a policeman, but he was unique and he was special because he was great at it. He had a disarming manner, dogged determination, incredible instincts that made him a natural investigator. And Butch loved to investigate cases. It seemed like over the last 28 years, for every major case that Santa Cruz Police Department was involved in, Butch Baker was there. Whether it was three in the afternoon or three in the morning, Butch was there. Whether the case was assigned to him or Butch somehow engineered his way into that case, Butch was there. And he was there to work. When Butch became the sergeant in charge of persons crimes, Butch took a personal interest in all of the cases. He felt responsible for guiding these cases through the investigative process and also through the court process. Butch took ownership of these cases. And when detectives would tell him or complain about their cases, Butch, in that typical Butch way, would stand there and tell him, look pal, these are all my cases. I just let you investigate them. For decades, from the perspective of the DA's office, Butch Baker was the go-to guy. In the 1980s, Butch Baker would be the first person that you would go to on your Rolodex. And in 2013, Butch Baker would be the first person you'd go to on your iPhone. Butch didn't need voicemail because Butch always answered the phone. Butch knew what it took to investigate and prosecute a case. 
And Butch knew that if you needed something done, he would do it. Butch loved the Giants, and Butch was a team player. Butch was a fixer, Butch was a closer, and Butch was a get it done kind of guy. Butch would give you the shirt off his back. If it was after lunch, you can be sure there would have been a few food stains down the front of that. Butch was also a mentor to many people in the police department and in the DA's office. And I wanted to share a story about Butch. I was in the middle of a homicide trial and Butch had assigned a young detective to help me get a very difficult, reluctant witness into court. The last day for me to put witnesses on, supposed to be there at nine o'clock in the morning, and the young detective was having difficulty locating this witness and getting him into court because the witness, although we knew generally what apartment complex he lived in, would not give his address. So when I found this out, I did what I always did when I had a problem at Santa Cruz Police Department. I called Butch. And Butch, who was in the middle of his morning briefing with his detectives, stopped the briefing took every one of them out to the apartment complex in the morning, knocked on every door until they found the witness, got him out of bed, rushed him into a police car, and rushed him to court. But there was a problem. That witness was wearing a ratty tank top that he had been sleeping in. But undeterred, Butch marched that witness into court in a beautiful shirt. It wasn't Butch's shirt. It was the one that he commandeered off the young detective's back. <laughs> Butch Baker loved his family and he loved his job. And Butch tried to balance work and family life. And his wife Kelly related a story to me that illustrates this. One day, Butch came home and told his wife Kelly that he would like to take a nice walk on the beach with her. Kelly was a little surprised by this but thought this was a great opportunity and let's go with it. So instead of Butch taking Kelly to some of the beaches that were uh, sandy right in Santa Cruz, they got in the car and they drove north of Santa Cruz up by Davenport. And if any of you know that area, you know that there's not a lot of sandy beaches there. It's more jagged cliffs and, and rugged areas. They park the car and they get out. And they're walking along this cliffside that goes down hundreds of feet down into the water. And Kelly is thinking, this is nice, it's not what I expected, and, but it's nice. And as they're walking along, she notices that Butch appears to be distracted and is looking over the edge of the cliff. And then she notices that Butch is sniffing the air. And so finally, Kelly asks Butch, what's going on here? And then Butch confesses to Kelly that he had been working on a homicide case 
and that he believed that they had dumped the body somewhere down these cliffs that they were taking their walk in. That was Butch Baker multitasking. <laughs> Butch was a tenacious, dedicated policeman, but more important to him were the relationship that he had with family, with friends, and with colleagues. And over the years, Butch and I got in many arguments. But at the end of all those arguments, they would always go the same way. Butch would look at me, and Butch would tell me, you know we're good, right? And the truth of the matter is, Butch and I, we're always good. In the 28 years that Butch saw the gritty side of police work, he never lost his compassion and his humanity. Butch Baker, was the detective sergeant on another homicide case that was in the middle of trial with three defense attorneys representing three defendants. Butch hadn't been cross-examined yet, and Butch knew these defense attorneys. One of them, in the middle of the trial, had a heart attack and was rushed to the hospital. And the very first person that visited that defense attorney was Butch Baker, asking him, are you okay? Is there anything I can do for you? Butch was proud and loved his family. And Butch's family should be proud of Butch's legacy. Of all the people that he helped, of all the suffering that he prevented, and all the people that he kept safe. I'm going to miss you, my friend. God bless you all. <laughs>